This year, I'm really excited about our new projects that we've got. In December, we sold $600 million worth of bonds, which we have eight projects lined up to take care of uh, with that money that are big, exciting projects. Uh, Secretary White tells us we don't have problems, we have opportunities. There's a lot of opportunities here, and we're gonna take advantage of each and every one of them to the benefit of every taxpayer out there. We also, we sold the bonds due to the West Virginia's great credit rating. We were able to get $147 million in premium. So the, uh, while we only have to pay back 600 million, we got an extra $147 million in premium due to our, our great bond rating. That's the amazing part of the Roads to Prosperity program. Is it started with the hope. That was the light at the end of the tunnel. You know, uh, the governor showed folks that there is a way forward out of, out, of, out of where we were. We're going to use this $147 million on improving our secondary roads and doing a uh, doing the smaller projects that uh, maybe don't get all the flash and bang of the big big bridge projects or the brand new highways, but they, they're the roads that people drive on. And this is gonna allow us to improve our secondary road system beyond what we had, had hoped to do in the beginning. And all this is due to the, the sale of these bonds and their great credit rating and our leadership that we've had, the vision we've had from our governor. And that's what sold it. That, 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 that his vision sold that bond program. Not only to our folks, but to all those bond rating folks. We got great returns on these things. We're putting that money to great use. We've also just sold another tranche of bonds and we intend to start new projects. We have already let one. We intend to get all the other projects out this year, this calendar year, so that uh, this money's put to work and the governor's vision of getting our infrastructure up to where the 21st century, to where it ought to be, is realized. That was his direction and that's what we intend to do. We've made great gains with everything we do. Processes uh, in, in, our, in our contract administration area. We, we've worked really closely with our uh, contractor partners and the associations that represent them to, tr to try to solve problems and come to the table and create joint task forces and not just give these things lip service or not just, just point out the conflicts, but to find ways to make progress through these things. Uh, we, we noticed that we were having difficulty getting jobs finalized. And uh, if, if you don't get your job finalized, then, then that, that, that authorization or that allocation, if you've come in under, under a budget, well, it's tied up until you do. So that, that's, uh, that's freeing up money that we can put right back out there in another contract. So there we found common ground. The contractors want as much work out there as we can get. Uh, we want to get as much work out there as we can get. We want to do as much work out there as we can do internally. The people have gotten on board with our plan to do preventive maintenance to save our roads so that we don't have to go back and repair them as often. That, that's the vision that we have and we're, we're gaining on that every day.